Do you remember that electrifying moment when you first tuned into the 1986 TV series Head of the Class? The rush of anticipation as the opening credits rolled, introducing you to a group of bright, quirky high school students and their equally eccentric teacher, Mr. Moore. It was a time when laughter and life lessons flowed freely, and the halls of Fillmore High School became a second home. Perhaps it was Simone, Alan, Arvid, Dennis, Sarah, or one of the other unforgettable characters who captured your heart. Your first encounter with this beloved show was like opening a treasure chest of teenage wit and wisdom. As we journey back to those iconic classroom scenes and schoolyard shenanigans, let's explore some fascinating tidbits about Head of the Class. From surprising casting choices to behind-the-scenes anecdotes, this trip down memory lane promises to reignite your love for the show and offer fresh insights into its enduring charm. So, get ready to embark on a nostalgic adventure through the halls of Fillmore High as we dive into some random facts about Head of the Class. Head of the Class, a popular TV series that debuted in 1986, was a beloved sitcom that brought a fresh twist to the traditional high school setting. The show, created by Michael Elias and Rich Eustis, centered around an eclectic group of academically gifted students attending the fictional Fillmore High School in Manhattan. What made Head of the Class stand out was its diverse ensemble cast, led by the charismatic and unconventional teacher Charlie Moore, portrayed by Howard Hesseman. The students, including the brainy Arvid and Jen and the witty Sarah Nevins, each brought their unique personalities and quirks to the forefront. The show's unique style lay in its exploration of the challenges and triumphs of these intellectually advanced students as they navigated the complex terrain of adolescence, often clashing with their peers' typical high school experiences. The witty humor and clever banter between the characters added a layer of depth and relatability, making it a hit among both young audiences and adults. Head of the Class ran for five successful seasons, showcasing the students' growth and personal development while imparting valuable life lessons. The series had a significant impact on popular culture, breaking stereotypes about nerdy students and highlighting the importance of education and individuality. It paved the way for future high school-based sitcoms, influencing the likes of Saved by the Bell and the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Furthermore, Head of the Class demonstrated the power of embracing diversity and celebrating intelligence, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of television. In essence, Head of the Class was more than just a sitcom. It was a show that celebrated the brilliance and uniqueness of its characters, resonating with viewers and leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of TV. In 1986, the TV series Head of the Class hit the screens, and it was a notable show for several reasons. One interesting fact about the series is that the IHP program, which stood for Individualized Honors Program featured in the show, was actually based on a real program at Walter Reed Middle School in Los Angeles, California. This program aimed to challenge academically gifted students. Notably, Christine Hage, who played the character Simone Foster, was a genuine graduate of the Reed IHP program, adding an authentic touch to her portrayal. Another interesting tidbit is that Matthew Perry, known for his role as Chandler Bing in Friends, auditioned for a role in Head of the Class. He tried out for the character Alan Pinkard, but didn't land the role. It's intriguing to think about how this audition might have changed his career trajectory. Lastly, there's a bit of a discrepancy in the episode count for the character Sarah Nevins. While IMDb lists her as appearing in 114 episodes, it's worth noting that she was never part of the pilot episode making her actual appearance count 113. Head of the Class was a show that not only entertained but also had some interesting connections to real-life programs and featured actors who would go on to become household names. It's a reminder of the behind-the-scenes stories that often accompany our favorite TV series. In the 1986 TV series Head of the Class, notable actors Brian Robbins, Dan Frischman, and Dan Schneider all portrayed students. They later teamed up to produce and star in Nickelodeon shows like Kenan and Kel. Schneider and Robbins played key roles in developing and producing the show, while Frischman took on an acting role. This collaboration marked a significant part of their careers, showcasing their transition from actors to influential figures in the world of children's television. Moreover, at the end of the fourth season, Howard Hesseman left the series. His departure led to Sir Billy Connolly stepping in as the lead for the fifth 
and final season, Connell's contribution to the show marked a notable change in the dynamics, bringing his own unique style to the series. In a 1998 interview on The Rose On Show, Sir Billy Connolly revealed an interesting tidbit about his casting. He mentioned that when he was initially cast for the show, he had a beard. However, ABC conducted tests and found that people perceived men with beards as sinister. This perception led Connolly to shave off his beard, showcasing the extent to which television networks considered public perceptions during casting decisions. These insights into Head of the Class shed light on the connections between the show's cast members and the interesting decisions made during its production. They highlight the collaborative nature of the entertainment industry and the careful considerations made to shape a show's image. In 1990, Howie Mandel was considered to replace Howard Hesseman as the lead in ABC's Head of the Class. The role eventually went to Scottish comic Billy Connolly. This decision marked a pivotal moment in the show's history. Head of the Class, which aired from 1986 to 1991, was a popular sitcom centered around a group of gifted high school students and their unconventional teacher, played by Howard Hesseman. Hesseman's portrayal of the laid-back, irreverent teacher was a key factor in the show's success during its early seasons. However, by 1990, changes were in the air. Howie Mandel, known for his comedic talents and unique style, was considered as a replacement for Hesseman. Mandel's potential involvement generated significant buzz and speculation among fans and industry insiders alike. Ultimately, though, the role of the teacher was given to Scottish comedian Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly brought his own brand of humor to the series, injecting new life into the show's later seasons. His performance was distinctive, and while it marked a departure from Hesseman's character, it added a fresh dimension to the series. This casting decision had a lasting impact on the show's dynamics, demonstrating the willingness of the producers to explore new directions. While the show's later years saw various changes, including cast additions and departures, Head of the Class continued to be a beloved series for its portrayal of the challenges and triumphs of gifted students navigating high school. In hindsight, the consideration of Howie Mandel for the lead role remains an interesting and significant moment in the show's history, showcasing the evolving nature of television casting decisions in the early 1990s. And that's the scoop on the casting switch up in Head of the Class in 1990. Stay tuned for more intriguing tidbits from the world of television history. In the 1986 TV series Head of the Class, several significant changes took place during its run. One notable change occurred in the final season when Dan Frischman, Tony O'Dell, and Michael DeLorenzo, who portrayed high school students, were all over 30 years old. This unusual casting choice raised eyebrows among viewers, as it departed from the conventional practice of casting age-appropriate actors for such roles. Another pivotal moment in the series was the departure of Howard Hesseman, who played the original teacher after four seasons. To ensure the show had enough episodes for syndication, Billy Connolly was brought in as his replacement for the fifth season. This move aimed to maintain the show's longevity and ensure it met syndication requirements. According to series co-creator Michael Elias in a 2020 Reddit thread, the decision to change the lead character from Howard Hesseman to Billy Connolly at the start of the fifth season was influenced by ABC's insistence to freshen up the show or face cancellation. Changing the lead character was considered the most effective way to revitalize the series and keep it on the air. In summary, Head of the Class underwent notable changes during its run, including the casting of older actors as high school students and the replacement of the lead character to meet network demands. These changes reflect the dynamics and challenges faced by long-running TV series in the pursuit of maintaining audience interest and network support. As we close the chapter on our journey through the captivating world of the 1986 TV series, Head of the Class, it's an opportune moment to pause and reflect on the profound impact this show has had on our lives. This timeless series not only entertained us, but also served as a mirror to our own experiences, both in the classroom and beyond. Each episode of Head of the Class was a window into the lives of a group of exceptionally bright students who navigated the challenging waters of high school. They grappled with not only academic pursuits, but also the complexities of friendship, growth, and self-discovery. 
And perhaps, somewhere along the way, you found a piece of yourself mirrored in one of those characters, or shared in their triumphs and tribulations. Whether you cheered for Arvid's quick wit, reveled in Dennis' rebellious spirit, or empathized with Darlene's unwavering determination, these characters became more than just names on the screen. They became companions in our own coming-of-age stories. Now, I invite you to take a moment to reminisce. What was your favorite episode? Who was your most beloved character? What life lessons did you carry forward from the halls of Monroe High? Share your cherished memories, thoughts, and reflections on Head of the Class with us and your fellow fans. Your experiences are a testament to the enduring magic of this remarkable series. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey down memory lane. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. Keep those memories alive and let the conversations flow. Head of the Class, a show that taught us not just in the classroom, but about life itself. Warm regards.